coverage now on the pandemic and watching out for you. We know there's a lot of misinformation out there. So tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross helping you separate fact from fiction. Hello everyone. As time passes, we're slowly learning more information about the effects of COVID-19. And I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to walk you through some of the key facts surrounding the virus, as well as some of the myths the CDC and health officials are calling attention to. The first statement I saw circulating on social media sites and the internet is people saying that saline, garlic, and sesame oil can prevent someone from contracting the coronavirus. That is a myth. There's also a lot of speculation about a vaccine to combat COVID-19, but currently there is no cure. That is a fact. The World Health Organization says that while researchers are pursuing possible vaccines, there is not one currently available. Now to a statement that's quite controversial, and that's people who believe that face masks will prevent them from contracting COVID-19. We've seen people walking around outside or in retail stores with them on, but health officials say this statement is actually a myth. Healthcare workers who interact closely with sick patients need those masks, but it's not going to 100% prevent healthy people from getting the coronavirus. Instead, health officials say you should focus more on good hygiene practices, like frequent hand washing. We're also hearing that not everyone who has COVID-19 will show symptoms like a fever or cough. Believe it or not, that is true. Some people may show no symptoms at all, which is why it's important to practice social distancing, staying at least six feet away from people. And lastly, there's people who are concerned that the coronavirus can spread from products, letters, or packages from China. That's a myth. The CDC says that the virus does not survive long on objects such as letters or packages. So by the time that package actually makes it here into the United States, the virus has likely died. But it does raise some serious questions about mail shipped locally from one city to another. We reveal how long the coronavirus can survive on different surfaces right now on our website. Just head to KOAA.com and look for this story under the News 5 Investigates tab. Always watching out for you, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Good information.